Attention to all passionate Steelers fans who are always on top of the latest news about our team. We have an exclusive scoop that is sure to make your hearts beat faster and your eyes shine with excitement. Today, we are pleased to announce that the new quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Justin Fields, has made a crucial decision about his identity on the field. After careful consideration and consultation with the team, Fields has revealed that he will be wearing the iconic number 2 on his jersey. This announcement is more than just a mere detail. It represents a historic moment in Fields' journey with the Steelers and reflects the deep connection he is building with the franchise and its fans from day one. For those who have closely followed Fields' career, they will know that number one has been his trademark during his three years with the Chicago Bears and throughout his outstanding collegiate career at Georgia and Ohio State. However, with humility and respect for the Steelers' tradition, Fields has chosen to leave behind number one and embrace number two as a new symbol of his commitment to the team and his determination to lead it to greatness. But what is the story behind number two in the Steelers' history? Well, it's a number that has been worn by legendary players in the past, including Mason Rudolph, Dennis Dixon, and Michael Vick. Fields joins this distinguished list and will carry with him the legacy of those who have worn number two before him. Now, this number change is not the only adjustment in the Steelers' lineup. With Russell Wilson ready to lead the team as the starting quarterback, we will see his famous number three in action on the field at Heinz Field. Additionally, Kyle Allen, newly arrived from the Buffalo Bills, will have to leave his number nine behind, as this number is reserved for star kicker Chris Boswell. However, Allen is not left behind and has chosen number four as his new identification on the team. This number change is not just a matter of labels on uniforms. It is a symbol of team spirit, history, and constant evolution that defines the Pittsburgh Steelers. It is a sign that we are ready to face new challenges and reach new heights in the upcoming season. So, dear fans, stay connected and tuned into our Steelers News Channel for more exclusive updates, in-depth analysis, and comprehensive coverage of everything related to our team. The season promises to be exciting, and you won't want to miss a single second of the action. Join us as we celebrate together the indomitable spirit of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Cameron Johnston reveals why he signed with the Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers' new signee, Kicker Cameron Johnston recently spoke about his signing with the club on an Australian podcast called SEN Breakfast. Prior to his NFL career, Australian-born Johnston excelled at Ohio State. And it turns out that proximity to Columbus played a significant role in his decision to sign with Pittsburgh. I joined an amazing club, and I just wanted to be closer to home for my wife, Johnston said. She's from Columbus, Ohio, which is a couple of hours drive from Pittsburgh. So everything worked out really well. Johnston is also excited to play for Mike Tomlin, who is one of Australia's favorite coaches, according to the show's host. Yeah, I got to sit down with him when I signed. It was amazing. It was good to have a conversation with him. He's an incredible coach, and I can't wait to play for him, Johnston said. In almost every category, Johnston was at or above the league average. He ranked 28th in average hang time, which is the worst metric he's ranked in, but his kicks generally ended up well. In net yards per punt, he was 6th in the NFL. In gross yards per punt, he was 17th in the NFL with 47.7 yards per punt. He was 3rd in the NFL in fair catches, 4th and 6th in punts inside the 20. Johnston spent the early years of his career in Philadelphia before going to Houston. His hang time averages are a concern, but he has consistently been good at directional punts. Johnston will look to prove he can hold his own in Pittsburgh. He's certainly an upgrade on paper from what the Steelers got last season from Presley Harvin 3. Harvin had the second worst average yards per punt in 2023 with just 43.8 yards. It seems his struggles against the Buffalo Bills in the wildcard playoff loss were the final straw as Harvin put the team in multiple short fields throughout the game. An average punt of just 38.5 yards led to one of Harvin's most mediocre performances in his career. For a team heavily playing the field position game, having a below average punter is a big issue, especially when they invested a draft pick in Harvin. 
Now, Johnston will enter the fray and hope to give the Steelers some consistency at the position. The Steelers still consider a trade for a wide receiver. One thing is clear, the Pittsburgh Steelers are in desperate need of a number two wide receiver after trading Deontay Johnson to the Carolina Panthers last month. They are expected to address the gaping void in the draft, but the depth chart doesn't look great at the moment. Brad Spielberger of Pro Football Focus thinks the Steelers may have one of the five worst wide receiver groups in the NFL as it stands currently. Pittsburgh added wide receivers Van Jefferson and Quez Watkins in free agency, nothing flashy but they could be useful secondary options. Corderell Patterson can also play wide receiver, but he is expected to be the team's third running back. The Steelers have been linked to potential blockbuster wide receiver trades, and it only intensified when San Francisco 49ers wide receiver Brandon Ayuk sparked speculation by sending a message to Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin on X, saying at Coach Tomlin they say we're twins. What do you think? It all started with Jerry Dulock on The Rich Eisen Show, who believed the team could aim higher than Mike Williams for the next receiver they add to the team. Or bigger is all I'll tell you rich and we'll see, but that's another step they're going to take. Like I said, it might not even be Mike Williams, it could be a bigger catch if you want. No pun intended, Dulock said. The Steelers were interested in Tyler Boyd, but couldn't agree on compensation. Andrew Filipponi of 93.7 The Fan reported on Tuesday that the Steelers offered Boyd a two-year contract in the range of $10 million. The free agent wide receiver market is pretty dry now, but Dulock believes a trade could still be in play. I would never say never. But I think the big moves are made, although I wouldn't rule out a trade of some significance yet, Dulock wrote in his online chat on Wednesday. After the Buffalo Bills traded Stefan Diggs and two day three picks to the Houston Texans for a second round pick in 2025, the flames around Ayuk trade rumors ignited once again, with most people pondering what Diggs trade meant for Ayuk's price tag. In reality, the 49ers haven't expressed much interest in trading Ayuk, at least not yet, but if that happens, Bleacher Report posed a possible deal. And the Steelers could be in on it. The deal would see the Steelers trade their first-round pick, 20th overall, and one of their third-round picks, 98th overall, for Ayuk and a fourth-round pick from the 49ers, 132nd overall. Pittsburgh would also have to pay Ayuk, but that deal seems reasonable. And there you have it, devoted fans of the Pittsburgh Steelers. From the exciting news about our new quarterback Justin Fields' jersey number, to the latest updates on Cameron Johnston's signing, and the speculations about a possible trade for a wide receiver, our team is at the center of the action. What do you all think about these exciting developments? Are you thrilled about Fields' fresh start wearing number two on his back? What are your thoughts on Johnston's motivation to join the Steelers? And regarding the wide receiver trade rumors, who do you think would be an excellent addition to our team? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single moment of Steelers action. Give it a thumbs up if you're excited for the upcoming season and share this video with your Steelers fan friends. Together, we'll celebrate the indomitable spirit of our team and get ready for a season full of excitement and great moments on the field. Go Steelers!